friends. Uh, my name is Anne Sokol, as most of you know, and my husband Vitaly and I are missionaries in Ukraine. And it's getting to be Christmas time. We just had our first blizzard here, and there's lots of snow outside. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what it looks like outside my window. Okay, so here is our first snow. And as you can see, everything is covered. The buildings, the cars, everything. Uh, Vitaly and I are working to raise our support level, and so that's why I'm making these videos, just so you can get to know us more while we're um, far away from you. But the world today, it's easy to to interact with people who are far away, so that's why I'm making these videos in case uh, the Lord would interest you in supporting us, or if you do support us, I just want to have more of an emotional contact with uh, with you, and thank you for all that you do for us. And today I want to tell you a couple things about Ukrainian culture, and I want to tell you a lesson that the Lord taught me about cynicism. So first of all, I want to just show you a couple actually really quick cultural things. This hat behind me is from Kyrgyzstan. And in Kyrgyzstan, they are shepherds and have lots of animals. And this is one of their traditional hats. Vitaly was there recently, and he helps with printing Christian materials all over the world. And so that is one thing that he brought back. And then, as you can see, this book, uh, we're studying in our homeschool. In our homeschool with the girls, we're reading about Lilius Trotter. She was a missionary in Algiers, and she was also an artist. And I um, found this book because Vitaly is an artist. So I thought that he would enjoy how she used artistry in her ministry and how she would draw beautiful pictures. Um, a couple things about Ukrainian culture that have been interesting to me. Now that it's snowing, uh, I wanted to. I don't. I didn't live in a big snow culture when I was in America. I lived in the South, and so uh, it was very. It's been very interesting to me to adapt to having three, four enormously distinct seasons and all the clothing that goes along with this. And one thing I noticed. I don't know. Maybe in the states like Michigan, where there's lots of snow, maybe Americans do this, but. When you go into take off your coat here, you take your hat and you take your coat off and your hat off and then you stick your hat down in your sleeve. And this is how almost everyone stores their hats when they remove their outer clothing to, when they're visiting or when they're at home. So anyway, so not to lose them, they all just tuck them down in their sleeve. Another interesting thing that I've had to adjust to in Ukrainian culture is that they use mili what we call military time where they have like, you know, you have 12 o'clock and we say 1, 2, 3, and we use AM, PM a lot, but they just use the, you know, it's 13, 0, 0, they say, or 15, 0, 0, or 17, 0, 0, and they use the evening times, as what we would call military time, they just normally use it in their culture. So I've had to like figure out how to tell military time, and I've been able to, I've gotten pretty good at it now, I don't have to keep counting, I just know what time it is. So those are some interesting cultural tidbits. And then I just wanted to share a quick lesson about cynicism. And you know, for a couple years, we had a rehabilitation center for drug and alcohol addicts. And I realized that I was becoming cynical when um, somebody would come and Vitaly would often communicate to me, you know, what, what they would say. And after a while, you just become um, hardened to the way people lie. They just are lying. And you realize, I mean, you have compassion on them because you realize that they're lying to themselves probably as much as they're lying to you. But I realized that I was beginning to struggle with cynicism um, in my heart toward this ministry. And uh, cynicism is where you always, you're always, um, you never assume that someone is doing something from good motives and you always assume that someone is doing something from wrong motives. And so I noticed that this was starting to harden my heart. And I was asking the Lord and just to save me from this. And he gave me this verse from the scripture. 
love hopes all things. And that was, for me, the answer to my cynicism. That love hopes all things. And it, didn't, it doesn't mean that we broke our rules and let people come back whenever they wanted or however they wanted. It didn't mean that we, um, you know, let people manipulate us. We, you know, love hopes all things. And when, you be, when I was becoming cynical, I realized that um, I really was uh, attacking or doubting the power of God that he can ch actually change someone. And it wasn't that it, it becoming cynical toward these people in our rehabilitation center, it shows me how it showed me how I could become cynical toward people in our church. I could become cynical toward myself and not even believing that I could change or that I could have do that God could sanctify me. And so it was a very um, you know, infiltrating attitude to have. But I'm very thankful that the Lord taught me that love hopes all things. And we are hoping in God. And we are hoping in the His His marvelous power to change us. I mean, that is His work on the earth, is to change us. And uh, And so God showed me that love hopes all things. That I can have expectation and confidence that God is powerful enough to change people and to change me uh, when he when he wants and in his own plan and time and not in mine. <laughs> so that was one wonderful lesson that God taught me. And so I just want to say thank you. And um, if you would like to, if the Lord is putting on your heart to consider supporting us, um, there's a website that I'll put in the comments of this video that you can look at. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does support us. Bye.